very very common question which comes in cbse board exams and need nj exams also that what do you mean by denaturation of protein kya hota hai ji denaturation of protein so basically c there's a definition hai na sabse pehle first let's have a look at the definition okay and after which like i'll explain so see uh when a protein in its native form is subjected to physical change like change in temperature or chemical change like change in ph the hydrogen bonds are disturbed due to this globules unfold and helix gets uncoiled and the protein loses its biological activity and this is called denaturation of proteins this is the proper definition the question comes what is the meaning of it see basically what happens proteins proteins have different type of structures whenever the proteins are in like the amino acids are in a straight chain it is called primary structure of protein but whenever there is coiling or folding or excessive coiling these are called secondary tertiary quaternary structures of the protein so the reason behind this formation of secondary tertiary and quaternary structure of protein is hydrogen bonding done now if i heat a protein the hydrogen bonds will disturb they will get like they'll get broken down and because of the breaking of these hydrogen bonds the coiling will get disturbed okay the helix will get uncoiled then globules will unfold and because of this uncoiling and unfolding which is because of breaking of the hydrogen bond the protein will lose its biological activity and this phenomena is called denaturation of protein now this can be done by change in temperature or even sometime by change in ph also so whenever we change temperature or we change ph the hydrogen bonding of the uh, protein chains get disturbed it gets broken down due to which the folding and the globules get unfolded the helix gets uncoiled and protein loses its biological activity done now there is an important line uh, that during denaturation the secondary tertiary structures are destroyed but the primary structures remain intact and this is a statement also and this is a very famous question also why why in denaturation only secondary and tertiary structures are destroyed primary is not destroyed because the primary structure does not have hydrogen bonding okay while the secondary and tertiary and even quaternary structures have hydrogen bonding so denaturation is process of breaking down of the hydrogen bonds because the primary structure does not have any hydrogen bond definitely uh, this process is not going to affect the primary structures now what are the examples like do we know uh, any example in our day to day life yes uh, there are examples like the coagulation of the egg white on boiling is a common example of denaturation what are we doing when we are boiling uh, uh, egg we are changing the temperature okay so because of change in temperature the denaturation of egg happens and uh, the boiling is an example of denaturation of egg protein in the same way another example is curdling of the milk okay the another example is curdling of the milk which is caused by change in ph i uh, hope you know how do we make milk uh, well, how do we convert milk into curd we do it by adding some a uh, curd previously or we can say by adding bacteria called lactobacillus which produces an acid called 
lactic acid lactic acid changes the ph of milk and converts into curd finally simply this was denaturation of protein please do not get disturbed denaturation of protein with rancidity rancidity is a bad phenomena in which the protein or the food gets disturbed uh, get, gets ruined or it, it gets spoiled denaturation does not spoil like it doesn't spoil the food it is just a natural phenomena that whenever we heat protein or whenever we change the ph of the protein its secondary tertiary and quaternary structures gets disturbed because the hydrogen bonding gets broken down due to which the secondary tertiary and quaternary structures convert into primary structure you can say and the phenomena is called denaturation of protein that's it thanks for watching in case you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section